Got it, y'all. It's April 11th. That means bottle 11 of the 25 days of bourbon and whiskey. Yep. One day from the weekend. And we're almost at the halfway point. So, uh... Interesting. Hope y'all are doing all right. It's been a rough week here. I don't know why. Just feeling worn out, tired. I don't know. Maybe it was the eclipse. Being out in that mess. Maybe it did something to me. I don't know. Kind of like the nose on this. Not much of a burn to it. It's sweet, kind of floral. Yeah. Not sure what though, but kind of floral, spring-like, fresh. I don't know. Let's just taste it, y'all. Cheers. Got some spice and it's lingering, hanging in there, back of the tongue. Sweetness, kind of honey like coming through. Let's see what that second sip gets. Hmm, it's odd. I'm not picking up anything at all on the second nosing. That pepper spice is still kind of lingering, still. But uh, yeah, chars. More of the same. Uh, floral, honey, light sweetness, but really just not a lot there. Kind of thin. Um, it's not bad. I'm, I'm kind of on the edge of, of I want to like it, but I'm not sure if I do. Bottle 11, the Maddie Gladden. Barrel season, uh, barrel series. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's been a rough week. Uh, this one is a uh, single barrel select by Bottles Unlimited, distilled and bottled by the Spirits of French Lick in West Baden Springs, Indiana. Aged five and a half years and bottled at 109.1 proof. Uh, the only clue it gives to the mash bill on here is corn, rye, and malt. Uh, I went to their website. They don't list the barrel series on there. They do list the Maddie Gladden bottled and bond. I would guess it would be the same mash bill, but I can't be 100% certain. If it is, the mash bill is 55% corn, 35% rye, and 10% malted barley. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad, just not not a lot of flavor coming through kind of thin uh price on it was 55 dollars plus tax so not a bad price for it it uh again this would this would be another one like we had the other night what i would call a, a beginner's bourbon there's not a lot of burn to it the pepper's kind of still lingering got a hug going but it's not overpowering in any way maybe somebody that is not used to drinking whiskey might think that that's a bit much but uh, i don't think so doesn't drink at 109.1 proof so yeah i'm, I'm kind of flip a coin on this if i saw it in this store 
single barrel select. I may grab it. I may not. Depends on on the mood I'm in. What do you guys think? A bottle 11, the Matty Gladden Barrel Series. Bottled at 109.1 proof, five and a half years of age. All right. See you guys back tomorrow. Kick off the weekend for bottle 12 on the 25 days of bourbon. Stay safe. And as always, bourbon on y'all.